Hi, my name is Camila and I'm 11 years old. Um, and I would like to know why do the Egyptians mummify their dead? Hi, I'm Christine Sullivan. I'm an editor at World Book Encyclopedia and I'm standing at the Field Museum in front of a case of mummies. And the question has been asked, why did the Egyptians go to all the trouble of mummifying their dead? Actually, it was a lot of trouble to treat the dead, and the Egyptians had a really good reason for it. They had a different belief system about the afterlife, and they felt that the spirit, which they called the ka, of a person, once dead, um, was released from the body, but still needed food and drink and the things that were needed in life would still be needed by that spirit in the afterlife. And so because of that, it was important that the spirit be able to find and identify the body, the corpse of the dead person and get to the right tomb in order to be able to partake of the food offerings left at the tomb for that person in the afterlife. So the dead body being relatively well preserved and relatively easily identified was very important to the Egyptians. Mummies were a way to make sure that the body didn't decompose beyond all recognition. In early times, around before 3000 BC, the Egyptians would just have buried their dead right into the sand. And because it was such a very hot and very dry climate, bodies buried in that way often were naturally mummified. There was no need to do a lot of preservation in order to uh, make sure that the body was identifiable by the ka. But then kings and nobles and soon many Egyptians began being buried in tombs called mastabas instead of uh, in the ground, directly into the ground. And that brought up the problem of how do you keep the body identifiable by the ka. The solution that they came up with was mummification. And the process was an elaborate one. Initially, in order to mummify a body, you would cut it open and remove the internal organs. Most of those organs were placed in separate jars with salt to preserve them. Those jars are called canopic jars. Um, in certain time periods, the brain was also removed from the skull. Um, and by removing all of these internal soft things in the body, you made it so that the decomposition that happens to a dead body from the inside out was at least slowed a great deal. Once the body cavities were emptied of uh, organs or of the brain, um, those cavities were filled with salt. And the body was covered in salt also and allowed to dry for about 40 days. It took about 40 days to dry the body out. After the 40-day drying period, the body would be sometimes stuffed with something like straw or linen or moss in order to fill it out again and, and give it a more natural shape. Then would begin the wrapping process. Um, the body would be covered with lotions and spices and then wrapped and wrapped and wrapped over and over again in long linen strips. During the time that this wrapping was happening, priests would chant prayers and um, recite uh, verses from the Book of the Dead. Amulets, charm-like things would be inserted inside of the wrapping. Um, a cartonage ma mask would sometimes be put over the face of the dead person that was painted to look somewhat like the dead person had. But remember, all of this work, all of this trouble, was all to allow the dead person spirit to be able to identify and recognize again the body that it had inhabited in life. And that was the point of mummification.